Thank you. There he is. Hey, hey, how's it going? What's going on? All right. What's going on, Brent? Brent, we good to see your faces. Yeah, we were just talking. Uh, the subject you want to talk about is is getting over a fence and, and stopping at that offense. And we were talking oh, about the, the, the world. We kind of live in a world where everybody is on edge and has a chip on their shoulder. And, and everybody wants to, to be right. And mm-hmm. instead of, uh, and plus, we're so easily offended. I, I get so tired. I'm offended. About what? Yeah, yeah. They weren't even talking to you. Like, what, do you, what does that have to do with you, you know? <laughs> and, and plus, really, half the things we're offended about really don't. <laughs> Is it that bad? I mean, there's some things in this world right now that offend me. <laughs> That's me. I don't have to push my belief onto you and you be offended by it. I think uh, another Sun Tzu uh, uh, thing is uh, if I'm going to be mad at you, I'm mad at you for my reasons, not because you're mad at them. Uh, I'm not going to be mad at them <laughs> just because you're mad mm-hmm. at them. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a waste of energy. Now, Brent, yeah. well, taking offense, being hypersensitive, being how, how to walk around that. Well, I tell you, I, I, learning about offense changed my life, and uh, uh, I'll show you exactly how to walk around it. You know, a lot of people don't realize uh, that the word offense comes from the word scandalon. It means scandalized. Uh, the word offense means bait. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, man, that that's uh, he was he was scandalized or she was scandalized. The word offense means bait. And, you know, in, in the ancient and in times today, you know, they, they would dig a pit and they would cover that. Sometimes that pit would have spikes at the bottom of it, right? Right. Uh, if you wanted to kill uh, your target or, 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 you know, just capture, uh, you wouldn't. But, but they would cover the, the pit with branches and they would put the bait on top of that pit. They would put the scandal on, the offense, on top of that trap. And so, you know, when you take the bait, you take uh, the scandal on, you take the offense, you take, uh, you, you, you're taking the bait, you're taking the, and you, you fall into a pit. Have you noticed that? You know, when you're offended, you fall into a pit. And and so uh, then the person that offended you, you know, sometimes people don't even know they've offended you, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, but but you're right. You know, we, we've gone through a season in our country where, uh, people are offended, and, and and the truth is, uh, they're actually being told to be offended. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, when when I was a professor at Tulsa Community College, 24 years ago, teaching world religions and philosophy, uh, you know, we had a lot of influence on our students, and and a lot of my students were were bullied by bitter, mm-hmm. angry people who never held a job. They just kept getting more degrees until they started teaching. That's that's an old joke among professors, you know, is is you, you never get a job. You just keep getting more degrees and then you become a professor, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, hey, God bless our teachers and professors, some wonderful professors. But having been one uh, and having kids come to my room and adults too, uh, it was a community college, they were so beat up because they were being told to be offended. They were being told what to believe. And the younger ones would, would were so hungry for direction, they would adopt it. But folks, you know what? It, it'll change your life if, if you learn to not take the bait, not take the offense. Because if you're down in that pit, you know, you're marking off the days, you know, of, of your offense. You're drawing pictures. They're, the world goes on. And, and the good news is, though, that if you do take the offense, you do take the bait, you can climb out. It's up to you when you climb out of that. And you can, you can climb out of that pretty easy. You know, or you can stay at the pit and decorate it. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> and prove where you're at and see that that's sort of way I yeah. if i'm here i'm gonna make it the best I, if i'm in a pit or, a ditch <laughs> yep. or what i'm gonna make it as nice yep. an experience as i can you have to be happy where you're at and and I, 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 <laughs> simple as that i i think like i said we, we live in a world now where it's a good idea to be offended all the time to be angry and, yep. and it, it's killing well, you, you know, you, you end up being a, a very lonely person, you know. Uh, there are people who are offended at everything. And after a while, you know, someone who's, you ever had that family member, they're offended at everything? Oh, Well, yeah. you you don't, yeah, you don't want to be around that. And you don't want to be that, look, 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 look. There's been a lot of uh, confession on, on these segments, you know, and, 
And I'll be the first just to say, look, uh, I, I was the world's champion at being offended. I take offense at something or I take something personal, you know. Uh, the way you feel around people is usually how they feel about themselves. And so if you feel like you're walking on eggshells, uh, it's usually the person yeah, uh, you know, the, they have a problem. You know, it's like bullies. Bullies hate themselves. You know, it's not the person they're targeting. It's just they're choosing to, to you know, focus externally. But the way that you overcome offense is you stop the world and you forgive everybody.